Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 495. If you're writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book, but you need some help finishing it, or perhaps you need help letting more people know about your amazing book, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Writer Wednesday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc., like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can turn someone who barely sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. A good process produces good results. Nick Saban. Well, once again, good morning. Happy Writer Wednesday. And what I do here on most slash every Wednesday (laughs) is give you some of the highlights of my process for developing and writing books. And today's topic is process. So we're going to talk about process, the idea of process itself and why it's so important. The fact that I've developed a process for writing a book, one that aims to make it easier and less of a struggle to do so, one that results in a higher quality book than if you kind of improvise your way through the book writing process. That's my my book blueprint is what I call it. Uh, It's especially important if you're a first-time author finding your your way through unfamiliar territory. Now, when I take my one-on-one clients and other authors, like the ones in my Writers Club Live group coaching program, for instance, when I take them through my book blueprinting process, One of the main reasons I do it is not just to help them create a blueprint they can use to write one book. No, it's to give them my process, to hand over my process so they can use it over and over again to write many books, not just one. And even to adapt and use it to create other written and creative products that require a thorough vision, an understanding of your target audience, an architecture, and a step-by-step plan for creating those products. So can you think of anything else other than a book where those things would be important? A vision, understanding your audience, an architecture, and a step-by-step plan for creating it? I mean, this could be courses and online products and also movies. I mean, any sort of creative product requires those things. So that's such a huge reason I invented this. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of process, and my book blueprinting one is something I want to offer up to all authors to use over and over again, to write better books, to do it more easily with less struggle and have more fun. So my question for you to consider today is, what process are you using to write your book? And believe me, my blueprint is absolutely far from the end-all, be-all process. I hope you have some sort of method, it doesn't have to be mine, but some sort of method or foundation that you can fall back on, especially when you do find yourself in the weeds, lost in the writing process, wondering where the heck your book is going, or in some cases where it's taking you against your will, (laughs) like you're in the back seat of the car, like, hey, book, I don't know where you're taking me. (laughs) Not having a process for creative projects like writing books, I've found, is one of the main reasons that people quit on perfectly good ideas. So take a moment and look at your process, that thing that you return to day after day while writing your book, the thing that reminds you why you're doing what you're doing, who you're doing it for, and what you're promising them. Process for me is the structure that frees me up to really enjoy the experience of writing a book without worrying constantly where I'm going next. It's kind of like the map app. I use Waze, the one on my phone, that allows me to plot a course to where I'm going and drive there so I don't use all that brain power just constantly worrying about every upcoming turn and where the heck I'm going if I'm getting lost or whatever. So it's like a book blueprint's kind of like Waze (laughs) for writing a book. So yeah, put some thought into what process you're using. And if you don't have one, I will put a link to my, I have a do-it-yourself book blueprint guide. I'll put that in the show notes today. Uh, If you can't find that, it's on theinkagency.net under services. And when you pop it into your shopping cart, please remember to use the coupon code INKFRIENDS, all caps, I-N-K-F-R-I-E-N-D-S, all caps, and that makes it free. Otherwise, it's $27. So make sure you use that coupon code because, as my listeners, you guys are definitely my friends. And again, that's at theinkagency.net. On the services page, I will drop the link. So if you're looking for a process, uh, definitely 
Steel Mine, take the blueprint process. It's been effective for dozens and dozens and dozens of authors. Thank you for joining me here on your daily writing habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Please drop by my Inc. Authors group on Facebook and let me know, let us all know how we can support your book writing goals. Inc. Authors on Facebook. Until tomorrow, happy writing.